Mobile Rob. I've made it so that this planet has a moon orbiting it. Huh? Orbiting? Huh? What am I doing? I didn't mean you orbit. The word orbiting means to circle around something, like a planet. Oh, well, you know what's gonna circle around this mobile? The comet I'm about to make. Uh, once I figure out what a comet looks like. I know. My grandpa told me all about comets. They kind of look like big snowballs flying through space. I even saw one once. Huh? Wow, I'd love to see a comet. Me too. How great would that be? We can find one with my grandpa's old telescope. Sometimes I use it to look at my home planet, Green Dax 5. Maybe we should go someplace where we can get a better view with your telescope. That sounds like we have a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see a comet with Emma's telescope. That sounds like a cosmically cool idea. Let's see where you can go. The monkey planet! Oh, I love monkeys. But they're so cute, it'll be hard to look at anything else. The toolbox planet! My kind of place, but we won't find any comets there. The astronomy planet! Oh, that's perfect! Astronomy is the study of outer space. The astronomy planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to observe space. Away, Emma. We won't be needing it. What do you mean, that old thing? There's nothing wrong with my grandpa's telescope. Oh, um, I'm sure it's fine and everything, but look at this one. It's just so much better. Yeah, a comet is going to look awesome through this thing. And so will your home planet. I guess. Whoa, cool. A moon. We've gone to all kinds of planets before, but never a moon, and it looks so close. That's the beauty of telescopes. They make far away things look close up. <gasps> Amazing! Okay, let's reset it so we can see my home planet, Green Dax 5. Um, how do we 
change its direction. These levers. This one moves it up and down. And this one, left and right. Huh? <laughs> wow! When you move it to the side, the entire observatory turns. Cool. <gasps> the comet light! That must mean a comet is about to pass by. But we were about to look for my home planet. We will. But that comet might only be in range for a short time. We don't want to miss it. Hmm. No, it's not up there. Here, I'll help you find it fast. Oh! <gasps> Maybe this way? Oh, go back, go back! Over this way! Aha! Over here! Over there! Oh, uh-oh! What just happened? Oh, here, I can fix it! I think I know what's wrong! Find the comet. Oh no! The viewfinder's dark. Oh, for sure we're gonna miss the comet. Gee, it's too bad we don't have another telescope to use. <gasps> of course, we can use your grandfather's telescope. This old thing? You don't want to use this. It's so small and old. Please, Emma. I'm sorry. Please share it with us. <laughs> I'm only kidding, you guys. Of course you can use it. <laughs> this should be the right angle. Oh, no. It's dark, too. Oh, the lens cap's on. <laughs> no wonder. Huh? The lens cap? <gasps> Maybe that's what's wrong with the big telescope. Yeah! Worked! Wow! There's the comet! Amazing! Mind if I take a look? Don't you want to use the big telescope now that Rob fixed it? I could. But your little telescope is great, too. It is. And it's special because it reminds me of my grandpa and of my home. Speaking of home, Green Dax 5. <laughs> it is! How did you know that was my home planet? <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> Rockin' robots! We got to see a comet and Emma's home planet. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the astronomy planet to see a comet. Oh, 
Only we got a bit careless and accidentally broke the giant telescope. We almost missed seeing a comet. Then we remembered Emma brought her grandfather's telescope. It worked great and it showed us that old things can work just as well as new things. And they can be extra special too. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Astronomy Planet! Hi, everyone! Check this out! We found a bottle floating in outer space. There's a message inside. What does it say? It says, X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. And look, it has a pirate ship drawn on it. Oh, oh, oh! It's a map! It's a map! Ooh, it's not just a map. It's a pirate's treasure map! Signed by Nosebump the Pirate. <gasps> pirate pirate treasure. treasure? I've never gone on a treasure hunt before. <laughs> that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Pirate's treasure map, but we have no idea where to go. There's nothing more exciting than hunting for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for? Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. And for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump ship. But which way is north? <gasps> Look!
should wait to find out. That was close. It must have been some sort of jungle animal. We should keep moving. Uh, what's the next clue? Oh, I know. East to Ear Cave. I remember because East and Ear both start with the letter E. But which direction is East? We can't just keep guessing. Hey, TK, don't you have a tool that can help with directions? Hmm. A compass, yes! It is four main directions, just like a map. North, east, south, and west, right? And a compass's needle always points north towards the North Pole. No matter where you go. See? So if north is that way, east has to be this way. East Ear Cave! This rock looks just like a giant ear. We found Ear Cave! And look! It's a picture of a skull and key. Just like the one on the map! It's our voices bouncing off the walls of the cave. It's called an echo. Hello! Tell us where we are! where the treasure's buried. treasure.
for Kimmy! <laughs> Not only did we find the treasure, we also made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his jaw. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Food 
for Squeak here will be the easiest mission ever. Don't you mean the chi easiest mission ever? <laughs> a new mission to get Squeak before he gets lost. That's not gonna be cheap. out either. Maybe it will. Rob, you stand there.
Please make them every robot mouse on the whole cheese planet. So it wasn't just Squeak we were chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Cheese Planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. If I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, pirate planet! A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose Music Planet, the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. OK, 
Okay, the dance competition rules say teams have to have four dancers to enter. One, two, three, four. Perfect. We'll have to make certain we find a dance all four of us will like. Disco music. We can do the hustle. Ooh. with only one wheel. Don't worry, TK. There are lots of other dance styles to choose from. Emma's right. We'll just keep searching until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. And it's simple. Come on, everyone, get off your seats and try it with us. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Raise your right arm up. Now your left. Right hand on your tummy, and then your left. Right hand behind your head, left hand behind your head. Now, wiggle your body like a noodle. Right hand on your bottom, left hand on your bottom. Swing your hips to the left, then to the right. Yay! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Oh, TK, are you all right? That's it. I quit. I'm terrible. I'll never be able to dance. But TK, we can't enter the competition without you. <sighs> TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out. Rock and roll box. Tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. to choose from. 
Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it, but I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up, and guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us, the robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. And a buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Yeah! Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, 
But I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. But I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapult! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. Trail leads in there. 
here. Did you guys hear that? It's coming from inside. Oh no, it's Orbit. Quick, everyone, this way. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! cleaning up the rocket, but we're almost done. <laughs> mm. Huh?
Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me!
needed to be leader now. Oh, oh, oh! Huh? Hopscotch! Orbit, can you hold mine too? I want to go first. <sighs> no one ever listens to me. I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Orbit! Hang on, Orbit. We'll get you down. TK, do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay, jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Give you a turn? Oh, we're so sorry, Orbit. It's okay. Come and dance with me. I'm the leader. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Good job. Wow, that was. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! How 
can I help you today? It's raining out, and we want to find somewhere it's not raining, so we can cheer up. And play. And build stuff. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Water planet. <laughs> but water planet is still wet. And I think we've had enough water with all this rain. Squeak would like to go to Cheese Planet. Mmm, sounds tasty, but it might be a little stinky. I don't think Cheese Planet is where we need to go. What about this planet? It has cold places and warm places. Oh, look, there's a desert there. Hooray! I like dessert. Not dessert, desert. A dessert is something you eat. A desert is a place where it almost never rains. You chose Weather Planet. Great idea. Hooray! Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Emma, this isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be raining, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. Something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Ma 
happens to water when it's really, really cold. <laughs> this is water? Frozen water. Once water freezes, it turns to ice. I'm not sure, Emma. It's really hard to walk on. You know, snowflakes are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it, too. That's it! We did it! Great job, everyone! But we still need a place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know! Follow me! This is great! The perfect place to play! And build! And it's not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> not too warm and not too cool. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> it was raining, and we wanted to find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains, but the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right, back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Weather Planet! Stripes. One, two, three vertical stripes. 
Vertical? Vertical means the stripes go up and down. I'd love to float the way he does in the water. I like him! Uh, 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 stripey sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No, he can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. <clears throat> Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy, the veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. fish at all. Hmm, T 
TK, we need something that will help us search. Something we can use to see really far. Hmm. A magnifying glass? Nope. Glasses? Hmm. Nuh uh. Yeah! This telescope is just what we need. Wow! Everything looks so much closer. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripes. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripes. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one! 
See if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. What about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to do is find you a robot helmet. 
Orbit. Orbit. Greasy gears, Orbit. That's awesome. Oh, it's, uh, it's perfect. Whoa. Rob, that's way too heavy for Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. Oh. Okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Wait, being a robot sure is uh, <laughs> fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found oh. robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's... Whoa! Awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes. Or something. sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? <laughs> cool. Hold up, Orbit. Don't get too close. What is it? <laughs> you should never play around machinery, Orbit. It can be very... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? 
<laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Oh! 
jungle explorer Emma is all set to protect the jungle and discover new worlds. And Space Sheriff Rob is fixing to keep that nasty space troll gang of outlaws from rustling our planet. There's nothing left for me. The dress up trunk is empty. We can't do the play without you, TK. We have to find you a costume. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk. Of course. I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers in a great big arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit. Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> It be treasure! Dawdlin' dopes. There's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to have a concert. Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm Jungle Explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way! We're at my concert. And you're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do! No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on a play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. The Lost Coco Buku treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Oh. Space trolls! They found us! Oh, no! <gasps> we must protect the statue! A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills! Space your probe will keep them busy while you folks escape! Eat pillow, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheriff Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Where we all played our favorite character. And we did it 
all together. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater planet to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. And to buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Space Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100 meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Halo Planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Six, five, 
everybody. What's the most important thing to remember about sports? It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <clears throat> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> Yay, TK! Great jump! Woohoo! Wow. wow! That's amazing! Your turn, Orbit! Come on, you can do it! <sighs> Sport. There are still lots left to try. Yay. <laughs> High jumping. Bar, please. Ooh. <gasps> Amazing. Whoa. Your turn, Orbit. <sighs> Lower the bar, please. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? <laughs> oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun.
lot harder than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
It didn't come with any wands. Don't worry. I think I can help with that. Hmm. Huh? No. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. not squeak. Rob, you turned squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma, wait! Ah! Emma! <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! <gasps> huh? Cool. But where Squeak? It's all in the book, Rob. You can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Whoa. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Now, I will guess what card you have. <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Oh, a seven of diamonds. Uh-uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm. A two of clubs. Uh, wrong. Uh, I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah. Try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See? It doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... <gasps> Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that. <laughs> <gasps> 
Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to the magic planet to find a way to make Squeak reappear, but instead, she got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. I just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how I did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Magic Planet. showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use, and then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? <laughs> Orbit, let me try. I want to make things pink. <laughs> Oops. Cool. Black. <laughs> and I'm yellow. Ah, I'm pink. Only your head. <laughs> Don't worry, Orbit. I'll put you back to normal. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. I think it's broken. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix it. Hmm. Don't worry. It's not broken. It just ran out of colors. <laughs> so I'm stuck being pink forever. I'm sorry, everyone. I should have waited my turn. Now you're all funny colors. Don't worry, Emma. We'll be okay. We just need to find another way to put ourselves back to normal. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. that color? Mm-mm. Orbit and Emma were painting with a color popper. Yeah! I look silly! We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. I love playing soccer. 
It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. Now that looks like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? Let's go in here. We need your help. 
Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh... <laughs> he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are? Uh... <laughs> You've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up, too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Well? Hmm. No. Too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. That's it. I haven't mixed three colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit, TK, and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Bye! I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. For us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop Concert. Oh, I love music. 
Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I? I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Monkey planet. Yes! <laughs> I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma. Book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something else. Kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No. no problem. Let's keep looking. <laughs> What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Find your instrument. What if 
if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey, this looks cool. <laughs> it's a drum set. I've always wanted to try one of these. Ooh. Hey, where are the drumsticks? We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 la. That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you. I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right. Great idea. Do you think it will work? Of course. Your singing is great. Oh. I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go! Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Paw Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, Me too. Yeah! Woohoo! 
Art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Still work. Wait, Emma. I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you then <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <sighs> this origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta da! Cool. <gasps> How come mine didn't look? 
look like that. Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Emma, you need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Neo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Hmm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? A spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect! Thanks, TK. I'm done! I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Uh, uh, uh. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Uh, uh. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. Done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet.
intergalactic space race. Race? What race? It says there's one spot left in the race. What's going on? TK, it's fantastic! There's going to be a race, and we have to prepare. But I'm the best pilot. You can't race against me. It says here, anyone can compete by yourself or on a team. You are a great pilot, but TK and I make a great team. I think we could win a race. Well, Orbit and I make a great team, too. Why don't we have a race and see who should compete? It's the only way to be fair. <laughs> that's a great idea, Emma. I think a race would be a lot of fun. And that sounds like a mission. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. I help you today? We want to have a race so we can decide who will compete in the intergalactic space race. Oh, racing can be fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Clean up planet? I don't think that's a very good place to race. Maybe we'll need to go there and wash up afterwards. <laughs> Paint Planet would be great! It sure would, but it's not really a place to have a race. Hmm. Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. to wait for the start signal. It's okay, Emma. We'll catch them in this. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest.
get a new battery out. I might have something that can help. Oh, my toy plane. Not really what we need right now, though. Oh, that's a nice hat. But I don't think it's what we need. A coin. This might work. Awesome! Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! <laughs> Left, right, or straight? Which way do we go? Buckle up again! You can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it! The end of the race! We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on, here we go! This is great! We'll win for sure! a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. 
And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. a picture for us, and he's almost finished. <gasps> What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh, dear. Your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> Pick a planet! Make it better. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Mmm. We'll go to Toolbox Planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Mm. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop flower bed planet. <laughs> hmm, not much of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere. my friends Emma, TK, and Orbit. Nice to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. 
Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow, so they all vanished. Oh, oh, I can help you fix it. I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Keys, but that's not going to help. Aha! That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. What's he doing? Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to go frightening everyone like that. will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. Great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? Uh. Well, as the keeper of Flower Bed Planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it lots of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds, water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> Wait, don't go yet. We wanted to give you this. Wow, thanks! 
Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? of a flower, but the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers, just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants, so TK helped fix them. He showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Hello, wing wing, TK. Huh? Hello, blinky, blinky. Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet.
languages from all over the universe. Hmm. Uh, how will we find the one we need? I am the language librarian. How may I help you? Uh, hi. Um, my friend TK wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful. What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes. We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. shelved. Oh, dear. It seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on. Maybe we can catch up to him. Wait! There's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Is over there. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Jonah! Hmm. Oh no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Talking book. A Spanish talking book. Neat. What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. Loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Mm. Mm. Still not loud enough. Aha! Mm. That's pretty loud. I'll say. Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes. 
This is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah, you did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa. That's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet! looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Ew. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? A mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Thanks. <laughs> 
next up, the Pet Shop Planet. Look! The Pet Shop Planet has things for every kind of space pet. I think this is the dog section. There's stuff for all kinds of dogs. Small, big, and really, really big. <laughs> These bones are all made of rubber. These must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Oops, hey! <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Look like the space cat department. This must be for the POUSs. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! Funny, but I don't think Violet wants a fishbowl or fish food. closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Really, see? 
saved us. And she found a great toy. That's it. That's what Violet wanted. A toy. We really should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there. TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer! TK, hurry! Please! Aha! This bolt is perfect! Say that's mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Pet Shop Planet.